we, we have five more minutes and we'd love to engage you a little bit in just being, as Ann said, more intentional leaders and working our networks to shorten these, the times to having good ideas spread. So we have one question for you and you can stand up more than once. So which roles do you see yourself playing in this movement or in this network? So first, it's are you an information provider? Can you stand up if you see that you're playing this role in, in this network? Okay, pretty good, a lot of people. Great. Okay, what, what about if you are an implementer? So do you change policies or practices through your work? Stand up. Great. Okay, and wonderful. And the last one is, are you a storyteller? Are you helping spread lessons and inspiration? Okay, great. So if you stood up all three times, that means you're a very busy person. <laughs> But it also means that you're, you're kind of spreading your wings across the whole set of roles of our network in this movement. And if you only stood up once, you might think about what else you, or roles you might play in those other categories, because I bet you have lots of strengths that you haven't even tapped into yet. Okay, another question we have is, where is your work focused? We kind of heard this in the introductions, but that was where you're from. So this question is, where are you actually working? So we're gonna lump these a little bit. Stand up if you work in the Americas, North or South America. Central. And Central, yes. <laughs> Absolutely, didn't mean to slight Central. <laughs> okay, great. And what if you work in uh, the Poles, Antarctica or the Arctic? Okay, a smaller group, but hardy. Okay, great. <laughs> and what about in Europe? Okay, great. Yes, yeah, sort of. Okay, what about Asia? Yeah, okay. Okay, great. And then Africa? Yep, we have different sides of the room yeah. tipping here. We're gonna work on Europe. <laughs> yeah, and Australia? Okay, great. And then what about globally focused? Okay, wonderful. We have pretty good coverage. I mean, there's people obviously farther flung who are working in these areas that aren't here with us, but that's a good, that's a good scope. Okay, now we just have three questions and we're gonna open it up and pass some mics around. So this is just to get you primed to be thinking over the next couple of days, and we'll just take a couple of answers from you now. But in, as part of this being more intentional as our roles in this network, we wanted you to think about three things. One is who's missing from our community? Who's not here, literally, but mostly figuratively? Which types of regions or types of sectors, civil society, NGO, business, governments, is missing from our group? And then a second question is, what do you hope to get out of this network? What do, what do you hope to learn from people? But also, what do you have to give? What do you have to share? So we're gonna pass some mics around and uh, if you'd like to share any, any reflections on these questions, we'll take a few responses. Thanks. Hello. Hi. I'm from Mongolia. I work for Wildlife Conservation Society and Mongo Mongolia Country Program Director. My short name is Inki. <laughs> Wouldn't go the long name. So I saw on the chart there's uh, half of the pop, uh, representation here is from academia, another quarter is from non-government, and I'm the non-government representation, as well as I saw there was um, government, private sector, and the work we do for sustainable development in Mongolia engages a lot of herders or the local citizens, and I think we are missing the people, the actual people in the ground, where we're trying to make changes at this conference. Yeah, great point. Thanks, Inky. Anybody else? Oh, yeah, down here. There's another mic here. Hi, I'm Javita Deloach at the Ronin Institute, and I do legal anthropology. My, um, I noticed that what's missing here is we have a great uh, amount of international 
um, representation, but our domestic representation maybe is a little bit lacking as far as um, equity issues and um, uh, environmental justice. And I know it's a difficult area to get into, but I think it's an important one and finding ways, I hope to be able to share with you a way to include equity into your model. So um, that's what I'm here to help. That's great. How about that? Hi, I'd like to see more industry here. Um, you know, I mean, the, these are the companies that are the Amazons that are affecting the global supply chain. It's awesome to see fashion industry, Helen, for being here. Um, but I would like to see more of those uh, companies that have such an impact on the ground with their supply chains. How about one more, and then we'll we'll keep these discussions going over the, this week. Yeah. Hi, um, in the same way about the industry, I also find there's somehow an underrepresentation of governments that are the ones that have sometimes the power to plan and change policies. So in that sense also, I think it's something that we need to work more. Thank you. Yeah, so, oh, you want to do one more? Is that okay for your guys? Uh, from my side, maybe, I think from finance institution also. Because uh, uh, like green economy need knowledge like how to bring finance institution to be part on this. Thank you. Yeah, great point, Barano. Thank you. So okay, bring, so bring those friends next time. Yeah, bring <laughs> friends. And you'll see some of these missing groups over the course of the symposium the next couple of days. We have some, but I think you've brought up some really great gaps in our community that we want to try to grow. So as Anne said, bring your friends next time. Shorten those degrees of separation. Thank you so much for listening to us and engaging. And now we're going to turn it over to Gretchen and a Chinese delegation panel. Thanks.